Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, say Allah. Koloyim la, Yahweh b'ashim Yahweh shai, b'hashim rakakotash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water toward the Akiyim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashim Yahweh shai to the best of their ability. Shachananawa. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, you know, kind of a saddening video, but uh, we're not, well, you know, just seeing our people in the positions that we're in. But that's a part of those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. You um, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to wake up to realize who you really are. You are the children of Israel. And the things that we're going through are curses as a people. That's the reason why we're at the bottom of everything. We have all these nations, these heathen that eat all kinds of abominable shit. They walk into, you know, walking, you know, can barely walk without bumping into walls. You know, they just, you know, have no physical ability, really. But they're over us. Why are they over us? Because the Lord said that he will place a base and low nation over us, you know, for disobedience, roughly paraphrasing. Right. But anyway, let's get some of this. It says L.A. County Sheriff's Department punch young mother holding three week old baby twice in the face during arrest. So they have the YouTube video down here, right? Body cam footage. Solaki has been released. You know, I don't want to go all the way off into it, but I just want to at least get a little bit of um, the beginning of, you know, um, basically Eve not want her baby to be taken. But this part, it says the mother along with two other mothers were holding infants in a car being driven by a drunk driver with no car seats. Villanova tweeted, definitely felony child endangerment. But that's why we do thorough investigations before making decisions. Villanova did not explain why he withheld the body-worn camera footage, nor why he didn't dis didn't publicly acknowledge the incident. Well, of course, I mean, if you're punching on a mama while she's holding the baby, that, that's not something that you really want to, <laughs> you know, to be in the public. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, let me back this up and we just get a little bit of, because you can see the Eve, she's sitting on the ground. I'm not sure what part, of, but she's explaining... You know, I mean, she's saying some stuff that makes some sense, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. Eve is just out here too easy. They out here got it too easy. You know, they're gadding abroad. They're doing what they want to do. Nobody will, can tell them nothing. They don't want to listen. They out here, you know, with the coochie shorts on, the poon, whatever you want to call them, the poon poon shorts, the cheeks out, you know, and just out and about, man. Just doing, just, you know, why aren't you at home with these babies? But let's get some of it. <laughs> I take care of this baby by myself. Okay. And I have done a damn good job because look how big she is. Look how healthy she is. I'm not saying you're doing bad don't take care of her. I'm but saying that's what, what you happened. are. You don't no, have to do all that. You don't I'm have to saying, take all our kids. I'm saying what, what led up to it is the problem. What led up to it? Because why did she tell us that we could take our baby? We can have somebody. Don't please don't take my, take my baby. Don't make this any harder than what it already is. Why is, is it that she told us that we could find somebody to come pick us up and come get the kids and put them in car seats. He has a car seat. Okay, he can go around. home. All I need to do is go get mine. I swear to God. We didn't realize you guys had that many kids. You guys each have a kid in the back seat. You've seen them when you flash the light. Okay. You've seen her baby. You've seen mine point, and you've so. seen her. Okay, so do you want me to grab the baby or are you going to hand the baby over nicely? Okay. All right. I can have somebody come get her. No, no okay. we're not going to do that. I don't want to have to snatch her and have my partners grab your arms. That's the last thing I okay, want to do. We're trying not to do okay. this. Okay, if you don't, I don't okay so Salaki, as you can see, with a pit, that, that officer, she appears to be a, 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 a Eve, too. But, you know, of course, this is not a color thing, you know, but you could kind of tell by the spirit in a sense, you know, these are Eve's, um, the, you know, and to have a, a, a so-called black woman, you know, sitting out in the middle of the street, basically, you know, holding a baby while well, you just got them surrounded. They all in fear. You know what I'm saying? But hey, but this is this man's kingdom. And see, you so-called blacks, y'all going to wake up soon and see that you're not free as you think that you are. You're going to wake up to see that, man. You're going to wake up to truly see that you're not as free as you've been thinking that you are. We keep trying to tell y'all, man, you are in captivity. That's why it's so important to come back to these roots of our of the scriptures, our culture. 
because at least with the scriptures, we have a chance. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, you know, we're, we're, we know that we're in captivity, though we, we have the scriptures, right? But these scriptures, if you're listening to what these scriptures are saying, it could keep you out of a lot of shit. Because had these women just known just a few simple scriptures, they wouldn't have even been out there to begin with. And especially not with um, an alleged drunken driver or alleged person that has been drinking. You know, they claim that, you know, when they pulled up, smell like alcohol, whatever, whatever. But Esau can use anything, man. Now, he has weaponized the so-called black woman against the so-called black man. But you, you better not ever believe that you're above him. You know what I'm saying? It's him, then you, then us. As the men, basically. That's the way he set it up. Anyway, let me grab this real quick. I mean, like I said, again, I don't want to, you know, because I don't want to go into the physicality of the video. I mean, it's something that you could pull up. But, man, hey, this man, he, he's really got us, man. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me go to... um. Because this is nothing but modern day slavery, man. You don't have no, you have absolutely no power in your hand. These people can take your children from you and you have absolutely no power in your hand to do anything about it. Nothing. Uh, matter of fact, let me just go into it. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because these are the curses right here. That's upon our people. You know, at verse one, it talks about the blessings. If we do what the Lord said to do, we will be, you know, above all the nations. But if we disobey the Lord, he's going to make us to tell, man. These, na these heathen nations, literally, these people are complete beasts. They have absolutely no damn sense when it comes to ruling, judging, or anything. But guess what? They're over us. They're over us. <laughs> Straight up. But let me see. Um... Give me a moment here. Let me start at verse 46 too. Let me get that. And it reads, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So these curses, they are uh, 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 like a... Um, say for instance, like you want to go to McDonald's, you see the big ass um, golden arches. You know you're at McDonald's. You know, that, that's how these curses are on us. It, it's like a label. You can tell who the children of Israel are just by who's going through these curses. You think that the people over there in Israel, you think that a police officer would ever, first off, they're not going to be even driving like that. Secondarily, you think that a police officer will be able to pull up and pull and take away their kids and then punch a Jewish woman in the face? Get the hell out of here, man. They're not going through these curses, man. Uh, I mean, it's, oh my, it's going through all of them. Let me, I want to get to the point, though. I can get verse 50. It says, a nation of fierce continents, which is Esau, Edom. They are a nation of fierce continents. You know, and that goes along with the other nations as well. But Esau, Edom, then had us in, 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 in captivity quite, for quite some time. And he has done some real dirt to us, man. And he's going to pay for it. It says, which, it says, a nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old. They don't give a shit about our, our elderly. Nor show favor to the young. They don't care nothing about our babies, man. They worked our babies in the fields till they got 90, 100 years old. They worked them all the way to the bone. They didn't say, hey, you're retired. You, you, know, uh, you know, I know I've been working you 75 years. You're... No, they worked you until you flopped over in the field. Right? Verse 51, it says, and ye shall eat. Let me see. I still just want to get to the point. Uh... Uh, where is that at? Yeah, let me just start back at, uh, let me get, uh, I can start at verse 20, um, 63. It says, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord Yahweh rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught 
and ye shall be plucked from off the land whether thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there shall and that and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And that's going on to this very day. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Some of our people, majority of our people are in the white Jesus Christianity, which is an idol, or Islam, which is an idol. That goes into the wood and the stone. That, that cross, the wood, the stone, you know, Islam, you know, is circling that damn stone, kissing on it and stuff. That's our people. Verse 65, it says, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease. We don't have no ease in America. But see, the so-called um, black woman, she has been somewhat of at ease. See, she don't understand that really that's no ease. It, she's just been fooled into um, destroying the, the, you know, the, the black family, the so-called black family, so to speak. She allowed the so-called white man to, you know, basically come against the family and say, hey, get rid of that nigga. Get him out of the house. We'll take care of you. Now, once you out here having all these damn babies riding around with no fucking car seats, you know, they they because they're in control of you and your babies. It says, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee their trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of mind. What you think she has on the ground sitting there um, begging this police officer not to take her baby from her? She has a failing heart because there's nothing she can do about it. And she, she was sitting there, I could go back into the video, she was making some great points because the officer did tell her, you know, hey, you know, we have, the officers got car seats, so why can't you transport them on home? Why do you need to take the babies and put the babies through the system and put the mom through the system and go through months, possibly months to get them babies back? If, if, you, if, if you're going to get them back, that's the crazy part, man. Verse 66, it says, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night and shalt have none assurance of thy life. This is how you know who the children of Israel are. That's why I said I read verse 46 because it's a sign upon us. It's like a damn Gucci bag sign. You know when you at Gucci when you see the G's, you know? You know what a Versace sign look like. Most Jake do, you know? You know what a Nike sign look like. You know what Adidas look like. That's a brand. You know, it ain't got the three stripes. That's, you know, them Adidas right there. So when you see these curses, you know that's them niggas. That's, that's, that's Israel. Those are the Israelites. Those are the children of Israel, man. Verse 67, it says, In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it, it were even? Yeah, so, you know, in the morning you're like, Man, I can't wait till it just, man, I just want to get this day over with. I, when is evening coming? When is night coming? So I can just lay down. And then it says, And at evening, Thou shalt say, would God, it were morning. You like, and then when it night comes, you just, you toss and turn it. You just like, ah, oh, man, I just, no, I can't wait to get enough. Let me, shit, I just want to get this day over with. Because we don't have no ease. We don't have no ease here. You got to get up. You got to go work. You got to worry about if you got enough gas in the car. You got to worry about if the car going to even fucking start. You got to drop the babies off at the damn daycare, you know. You got to pick them up from the daycare. You got to make, try and make it to your second job. While somebody that's, you know, cutting all into you and shit about making it there three minutes late. And you, you they don't want to hear nothing about you had to pick up the babies from the daycare. They don't want to hear nothing about you got four or five babies and you taking care of them by yourself. They don't want to hear none of that shit. It says, verse 68. Hold on, let me get the rest of that. It says, for the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Verse 68, it says, and Yahweh shall send and, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And that word Egypt is going off into bondage. It's synonymous with slavery. It's synonymous with bondage. When you go into Exodus chapter 20, I think it's verse 2. It, it, it lets you know the Lord that brought you out of the house of bondage, out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And, and, and America is known as spiritual Egypt. That's why you see that pyramid on the back of that dollar. And you see all these, uh, um, you know, Egyptian Things, you know, and monuments all over the continent of the U.S. When you go to these these um, metropolitan cities, you go to these capitals of the so-called white man. They have a lot of Egyptian, a lot of, um, you know, so-called African stuff here. So they know who they have in captivity, man. It says, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you. So it's telling you straight up we was going to go into slavery on ships. Now you got a damn camp out here that's talking about we never even went into slavery. 
They used to be called um, One Body and Yahweh Shai. I think they just call One Body now. They didn't talk to Yahweh Shai off their um, group name, off their camp name. So, hey, hey, and there's a lot of camps that's out here waxing. Worse and worse, man. Hey, look. You, you have to get away from these bug outs, man. You, you, if a camp is out here teaching um, there's a hell doctrine, if a camp is out here teaching you or, or, or they're not, if they can't call on the true names of the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, get away from them. All that Christ, all that God, the Most High, and you never hear them actually say the name, you need to be getting away from them. Because we're living in the last days where things, we're in the thickest thing. And I'm starting to see a lot of bugged out shit, man. Brother just sent me a bugged out ass video of a bug out. Talking about Jaffet and just Book of Mormon and shit. I don't want to hear that shit, man. I'm too far into this thing to be going back and, 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 and getting into some shit that don't even matter, man. Here you go, don't know the basics of the scriptures, don't know the milk of the scriptures, and you 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 got the book of Mormon on deck, you got the book of Jasper on deck, you got the book of Enoch. You don't went and actually bought physical copies. You ain't even download the free hookups from the from the app store. So you know you serious about reading that bugged out shit. And Salakia, like that's a <laughs> that's another, you know, because see, that's that's another part of the curses though. That wood and stone, that wanting to know everything except for what the Lord is really saying. Because the scriptures are simple. Jake want to be deep. You want to be a fucking philosopher. Jake want to have a PhD on the back of their name in this Israelite thing, man. They want to have all these accolades, man. It was still another scripture that I wanted to get. <laughs> uh, uh, Salakia, man. Bear with me, though. I mean, that's the spirit. It had to be said, man. You know, sending, sending me videos of, of, of bug outs, man. I'm not about to watch no hour long worth of bug outs, man. Here's another one. Um, let me see, though. Man, look, if you got to read through this whole chapter, if you can't tell me that these um, these these curses don't fit us to a, a T, man. It, it go, I mean, it's everything from diseases to 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 the um, the bug outness of of Jake walking the street, just out here, just out his damn mind, talking to himself. It's all in here, man. The black on black crime. Oh, here it go, right here, verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fall and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. No might in our hand. Here you go, the so-called white man. He can pull up on our women and men and take our children. And we got to try and run them down and go through their system and call this number and call that number and get up with this supervisor and get up with this manager. Oh, they're over in this county. Oh, they've moved them to this county. Oh, they're over here in um, such and such, such and such. And you got to go through all these fucking things, man, to try and get our babies back, man. So that lets you know where we at. And Jake not, Jake not pissed about this shit, man. You should have a righteous hatred for this man in his place, man, in this place. But Jake, they love it. They love it. They love it here, and especially the so-called black woman, because when, when they got her up off the ground, booty cheeks out. Here you go. You out and about riding around with some drunk nigga, and then you begging to get the babies back. But still, if, it, if they were intoxicated, you, the, the, the first thing that should have been going down with them with, with them police officers was the safety of those babies. Let me get them home with their mothers. Now the, 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 the so-called white man is saying, no, we're, we're, we're better equipped to take care of your babies. We got this. You're, 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 you're not capable. Yeah, boy, I tell you, man. Let's go back, though. And, and I don't want to keep, like I said, I ain't want to keep it long. I don't want to, you know, get a copyright strike where I don't want to get a strike as far as, you know, showing the violence of Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which is supposed to be a protector and server of the community. That you pay taxes for. He's just out here whooping on the so-called black woman with the baby in the arm, man. I don't have anybody. Okay. I'm literally, like, on my I'll own. For I was dressed I, off. I, I, I sympathize with that. I am. Why, so why are you taking my baby? Because what led us up to this point? What led up to the point? 
You guys were in a car, driving without your lights on. No one's a licensed driver. His, no one lights, has his lights are off. There's something I mean, wrong with no, it. And no one has car seats in the car for the children. That she is has a, big, a car seat. That is a big safety concern. She has a car seat. Not in this car. It is in the car because he popped the trunk into the trunk. The they were not in the car seat. It's in the trunk. Kate, okay. the child needs to be in a car seat. That is an issue. So if we wouldn't have, they wouldn't have picked me up and I would have been kidnapped or sex trafficked, then what happened? Then what would happen? That didn't happen. No, that didn't but happen. I'm just saying that happened. Happen, so we're not People get kidnapped. I understand that. I and around and around. Children right now. You had children who understand. I do understand. And I feel like what was best at that point was to just try and get my kid home. That's it. My baby has never been in danger. There's never been any type of Your baby was in danger tonight. Just by being in this car without being in a car seat. Driving around the town. That was what we was, driving baby was around in danger the town. For. I was just trying to get home. Baby was in danger traveling in a motor vehicle without being in a child seat. Okay, and they all knew that. She shined, they both Everyone shined the light. That. She seen her baby. Okay. They seen mine. And they seen the other baby. Y'all knew we had We're three done. babies in We're the car. We're done with this conversation. It hasn't been going anywhere. You because aren't listening you to what guys I'm telling aren't trying to are, understand. Are you going to give up the baby nicely no, or am I going to have to grab and they're going to grab your hands? I don't want to do that, but okay. those are your two options. Can you please just listen to me? We have. Okay. Please? Okay. okay. She's going to grab the baby. Can you guys wait? Wait. No, listen. No, please. 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 Okay, you get the gist of it, you know. Like I said again, uh, this is um, where it's just at. It's in Los Angeles. It's um, L.A. County Sheriff's Department punch young mother. So you can probably pull this footage up. It's L.A. Taco Newsbreak contributor. Probably can pull that up if you want to check on into this, you know. Now she could have simply complied after they, because you know these fucking they're not these fuckers not listening to you. They don't care. They don't have no compassion towards you. Because if they really cared, they could have pulled up and say, you know what, we're gonna get you home safely. You got 20 cars around. You got 20 fucking cars around. When things like this happen, if, 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 if you if they if these police officers, they keep um car seats on them. If you're so concerned with the safety of this woman and her child, then why don't you throw them in the squad car and, and use some of that taxpayer's money and gas that you motherfuckers sit around and idle the cars for all damn day long and, and, and put it to use. But come on, man. We, we talking about Esau here, man. This man is heartless as hell. That's why I'm telling you the scriptures describe this man as being the wicked. You can't expect nothing good from the wicked, man. And then here you go. You got the so-called black woman, the so-called black man. They join this man's forces and they join forces with the enemy to treat their own people like dirt, man. Anyway, let's get this one. Isaiah 32 and 9. And you know what? Hey, shit about to get real, real rough out here, man. You women better, y'all better, y'all better get it together. Y'all better get it together. This man don't have no problems with putting a baton on you. This man don't have no problem with tasing you. This man don't have no problem with whipping out that pistol and putting a clip in your ass. He don't have no problems with that. See, you've you been out here too long at ease, man. Here you go, you got women out at night. Scared, you know, uh, basically no clothes on with damn babies. And then when you get pulled over, I, I, come on, man. Yeah. Anyway, Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. See? Our women are too at ease. You just out here, just whatever. You know how e how at ease you have to be to be in a car like that? Three baby mamas. I don't even know if they... And you know the crazy shit? The dude that was driving the car, they could have been all his baby mamas. Which wouldn't have been nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, because <clears throat> biblically, a man can't have more than one woman. 
can have and, and generally it's multiple children coming out of that situation my thing is is okay you riding around with the damn lights off you suspicious as hell as is this man hunts our steps the scriptures talks about how this man hunts our steps that's why they sitting in your damn neighborhood posted up lingering just can't wait you ain't done nothing you not speeding you not swerving you're not doing anything, but this man has all the power to pull your ass over and search all through your vehicle and make up shit to take you to jail about. So you have to be more on alert. You have to realize that you're in the hands of your enemies. And this is what our people don't recognize. They don't understand that. You're dealing with an enemy. So you have to use a little bit of guile. You have to, you have to use some damn common sense out here, man. And mainly the scriptures, though, that's that's the main part of, of, of what's really wrong with our people, man. Our people, they don't want to listen to the Lord. They look at the law, statutes and commandments as if they're just, ah, ah, it's just, ah, I can't take it. Ah, you know, it's like real medicine. You know, you, you know how, you know, you, you, you know, you give <laughs> you give somebody that spoon of medicine and they just kind of spitting it back out like, ah, but it's for their good. Ah, you know, just can't take it. Ah. Real discipline to our people, man. It's like that shit is like kryptonite to Superman, man. They they hate it, man. Then when the thing go down, and you know, like I said, there's plenty more scriptures we can get into about our women out, getting abroad, um, um, talks about our women having too much liberty, give them not too much liberty, you know, roughly paraphrasing. But it's a hey, it's gonna be a lot of it's a lot of judgment that's going out right now. That's why it's so important to repent, man, and come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, and come back to our power, because when we when we was listening to the Lord, we was above these nations, and that's what they're afraid of. That's the reason why they don't want to hear. They don't want you brothers. They don't want the brothers out here on the highways and byways and telling um our people um the true name of the Father Yahweh. Repent to Him. That's your true power, which means that He exists or the existing one. The true name of his son, our king and savior, that's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies, according to Luke chapter 1. Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. They don't want Jake out here to, um, 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 teaching our people to, uh, uh, righteousness. That's scary to them. That's scary as shit to them. If Jake, if, if all the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans start to live righteous today, every single American company would fucking plummet. You for sure want it. The pork industry will be through. The cigarette industry will be through. The weed, marijuana um, shit will be through. Your pills, pharmaceuticals, all that shit will be through. Your clothing stores, all these designer shit, all that shit will be through. Whole world would plummet. The reason why they give you commercials on TV and advertisements on TV, to, they, they, they want to keep you in a stupefied, dumbass state. Keep spending money, nigga, and go to work. That's all we want out of you. We don't want you telling your people um, about these scriptures. What you mean you want to be righteous? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm telling you, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep and wake the hell up out here. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. It's lucky for the language. It's lucky for the, 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 the attitude of this man. <laughs> but, just, man, this shit just burn me up, man. I be trying to chill. <laughs> I be trying to chill, like for real, for real, man, because I do understand. See, when you come into this truth, man, you're going to be, it takes a toll on you. It takes a real toll on your body, man. It takes a toll on your mind. It takes a toll on you. But, hey, it's all for the better benefit, I mean, the better good of our kingdom, man. I prefer to go out, you know, <laughs> with damn high blood pressure or something, man, from just being angry at these motherfuckers and to not be doing nothing at all. But, you know, I be trying. You know, I'm working on it. For real, for real, man, because I be seeing shit and I be like, God, I can't fucking wait to get the hell out of here, man. But this is um, <laughs> Romans 13 and 11. It says and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. It's now. Here you go. You got these fuckers already at war with World War Three. They already implementing basically the MOTB, the mark of the beauty and the beast. And Jake just riding around out here just every time you run, walk past one of these niggas in Walmart or something like that, all you can smell is marijuana. Banging loud ass, stupid ass music. Not don't have nothing on their mind, man, except for just being niggas, man. We at the end of this thing and Jake want to just be niggas, man. And it's aggravating, man. Aggravating as hell, you know. 
and 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 it's scripture that talks about evil people don't understand judgment i get what's going on when i see you know basically these young ladies sitting on the damn ground with the babies in their arms screaming about please let me you know because they could have easily hey let some because the lady she even said well i can have somebody come and pick my baby up real quick see but esau understands getting that getting your child into that system that's what he wants he are it's not like he don't own the baby to begin with but man come on man you can fuck around man and your baby go to a damn um one of these places You've been fighting for months trying to get them. And, and you know, some, some women will give up. Next thing you know, your baby is at an adoption agency. Next thing you know, your damn baby is 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 is, is, is with some fucking Edomites, some so-called white people doing all kinds of whatever to them. This place is through, man. Romans 13 and 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. And that's what we that's where we're at right now. You had to put off those works of darkness. You can't do it unless you call it on the name of Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. All that white Jesus crap, that shit they beat into us during slavery. You got to get rid of that whole mindset. That's why when I was reading that verse 46 in Deuteronomy chapter 28, it, um, no, not verse 46, but um, the verse that talked about um, the wood and stone, that we will be in places scattered amongst um, the heathen serving their gods. White Jesus is a, is a idol, man. That's not our God. That's not our power. You see what I'm saying? That's idolatry, and the Lord is not having that. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. It's a sad situation. But you women, man, y'all y'all got to wake up. And you men, too. Don't get me wrong, but when you really think about it, how free are you when another nation of people can come and take your children? That's an insult to you as a so-called black man. You Israelites. This man is over you where well, he can come kicking your goddamn door any time of the day or night if he's feeling like you're not treating um, your children the way that he feels like. Matter of fact, this man can come and kick in your door if you're telling your children that uh, a, a man is a man and a woman is a woman. He can come and kick in your fucking door, take your children and take them to a location and redoctrinate them and take your ass to jail. So where's the freedom in that? Where's the freedom in that? I mean, somebody let me know. You're so fucking free. Well, I ain't no such thing as slavery. Here you go. You got a nigga. I, never mind. Ugh. This camp that's talking about us that never going into slavery. Nigga, you in slavery. What the hell are you talking about? You in slavery. You got this man. So you can't lead a country without his, his credentials. You need his social security number. You need his driver's license. You need his passport. You have to prove that you didn't took all his fucking shots. He stamps your shit, give you a little pass, you know, a little hall pass. You go to another so-called white man's country, which they going to stamp your shit again. And, and oh, 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 you're from master such and such. You get a certain amount of time and wherever you going, they're going to send your ass right back here to master. And if you overstay your stay, <laughs> guess what? The so-called white man is coming with them same goddamn chains that he had your ancestors in. They're going to throw you in the back of a van or a squad car, drive your ass to the point of, um, um, and, and they're going to get you back to master. Here's your runaway. With all that damn freedom shit. Get the hell out of here, man. Y'all better wake y'all asses up. We're in captivity. The only power that we have is our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, call me Yashallah.